Secret Agent K-7 returns. America's number one adventurer, K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. We take you to K-7's headquarters. This is secret agent K-7 speaking. Send in special agent Z for assignment. At once, K-7. Special agent Z reporting for assignment. Agent Z, I have just talked with the premier of this country. He has brought us here because he believes his nation to be in danger. The trouble is political. Some members of the cabinet favor an alliance that would mean the end of this country's liberty. It would practically become a protectorate. Others, the patriots of the cabinet, want peace and trade treaties with the democracies. There are numerous plots. This morning, a woman attempted to see the premier. She claims to have information. She's outside now. Talk to her. See what you can find out and keep me informed. That's all. A few minutes later, Agent Z and his assistant Patricia Norwood questioned the woman who had attempted to see the premier earlier in the day. She was nervous and frightened. Please, let me go home. Why have I been brought here? Because you said you had information for the premier. They wouldn't let me see him. Oh, I've got to. Please don't arrest me. You're not under arrest. Z, let me talk to her. Madame Porval, we're friends of your premier. He sent for us, asked us to come here to your country. You can trust us. We won't betray anything you tell us. You, you have come to protect him? Mm, yes, that's why we've come. Does your premier need protection, Madame Porval? Well, they would kill him. Tomorrow night. What do you mean by that? What do you know? You you won't say that I told you. Oh, of course not. We'll protect you in every way we can. Then, then I will talk. My husband, he is in charge of the power plant outside of the city. Yes, yes, go on. It began last year. They came to him. He, he has a sister in another country. They told him that unless he did as they asked him, his sister would be killed. Well, what did they want him to do? Well, first, all they wanted was the plans of the new generating plant. Mm -hmm. Then they wanted to know about the control panels, where the electricity went, how much different factories used. And they got that information? Yes, he told them everything. He was afraid. Always they asked more. Last month... No, I must not tell. You'll have to tell us everything. Otherwise, we can't help you. Oh, but he'll be arrested. Not if you tell us the truth. You must not arrest him. He does not want to do what they make him. Last month, the power line was destroyed... It went to a great plant owned by a member of the government. I think I understand. A member of the government who opposed those who threatened your husband had his factory put out of commission. Yes, it is true. Mm -hmm. Now they are going to use dynamite and blow up the generating plant where my husband works. When are they planning to do that? Tomorrow at midnight. There will be no lights in the city. The premier will be killed, murdered. They're going to murder all who oppose them and seize the government. My husband is afraid. <laughs> Take her home, Pat. I found out all I want to know. Warn her to keep silent. Report to me back here. (laughs) 
At almost the same time Agent Z was hearing the story from the lips of the woman whose husband was involved, Adolf Menzak, powerful political leader, talked with several cabinet ministers allied with him. Our plans are completed. At midnight tomorrow night, the power plant will be dynamited. When the lights in the city go out, it will be our signal. All of you know what to do. You know, your men will take care of Bekov, Profita, and Nino. They are to be killed. Their homes are to be burned. And what about the other ministers who oppose us? Bekov, Profita, and Nino are the leaders. With them dead, we can control the others. Who goes to the premier's home? That will be my pleasure. He's opposed me too long. Now I will have my revenge. What about electric power after we have seized the government? That's right. We will have lights. As soon as we are in control, electricity will be supplied by the country which backs us. The lines are already at the border. Our plans are complete, gentlemen. We cannot fail. The next day, Agent Z reported to K-7. He had made a complete investigation of the plot and the man behind it. An attempt is going to be made to seize the government at midnight tonight. The power plant is to be dynamited. When the lights go out, it'll be the signal to murder the premier and those who support him. I've talked to the woman and to her husband. There's no doubt that the plot is real, K-7. Manzak is behind it. He's powerful. It's time for us to act. Z, I want you to go to the premier. Warn him. Have Miss Norwood report to me. That's all for now. Keep in touch with me throughout the evening. That night, as midnight approached... Pat stood before the great control panels in the generating plant outside the city. A man was at her side. Together, they watched the minute hand as it crept toward 12. One minute more, Monsieur Poval. Are you ready? Yes, Mademoiselle. You, you're sure they will not come here? Mansack is powerful. We've done everything we can. If he should succeed, I would be killed for not following out his orders. And if you'd done as you were told, you would have been a murderer. Get ready to pull the switch. 20 seconds to go. I am ready. Plunge the city into darkness. Now. Your flashlight. We've got to watch the clock. The city was in darkness. As the street lights blinked off, shadowy figures moved swiftly. Scattered shots were heard in a few neighborhoods. The premier was in the study of his home. Two candles burned on his desk as he worked. Three minutes past twelve. I can't see the work by these candles. Yes, what is it? I have candles. Oh, who is it? Monsieur Mansek. He says it is important. Just a minute, I will unlock the door. Come in, Mansak. Usually this door is not locked. However, tonight I was warned to remain in my study. You were warned? Yes, the Secret Service. They heard of some plot. <laughs> Come in. These candles don't throw much light. <sighs> what brings you out so late, Mansak? Sit down, sit down. I can take care of my business standing. You have a gun. I have come to kill you. I know I will do it someday. Benzak, you're, you're mad. There is no use trying to talk yourself out of it. You are going to die. I have wanted to kill you for years. You've wanted to kill me? you wanted to kill me? But why? Why? Because you have opposed me in everything I've attempted. I should have been premier, not you. You know I wanted to be, but you are ambitious. You pretended to be my friend. Hey, Doc, put your gun down. You don't know what you're saying. I know only too well. I have rehearsed every word. Over and over, you are going to die for. Hey, Doc. Tomorrow, I will be premier. The lights. 
Why do you think they went out? I would tell you. Because I ordered the power plant dynamited. Your friends, Bekov, Profita, Ninao, they are already dead. Uh, you're going to try and seize the government. I am seizing it. It is already mine. Do you understand? I am the new premier. I wouldn't be too sure of that. Who, who are you? What are you doing here? I've been waiting for you, Manzak. We've both been waiting. We wanted to hear you tell us what you intended to do in your own words. You thought you would trap me, eh? It is too late. Even if you kill me, it is too late. Back off, Profit and Nino. They're are... all safe uh... in their homes. Your plot has failed, Manzak. All of your friends have been arrested. Even your plot to dynamite the power plant has failed. And the lights will be on in another ten seconds. I ordered them off for five minutes to trap you. You're lying, I don't... But... There. They're back on. We can blow out these candles now. Look out, he's gone. Stand where you are, both of you. Don't come near me. I am not going to be taken, not alive. I would rather die than go to prison. <laughs> Special Agent Z reporting, K-7. I failed in my assignment to bring Adolf Menzak in. The Premier is safe. The men who plotted with Menzak are in prison. Here is Menzak's gun. Thank you, Agent Z. You did excellent work. Perhaps it is just as well Menzak kept another appointment. for power forget the welfare of the people. They forget the cost of revolution and war. They forget how great is man's desire for peace and freedom for those they would trample underfoot. Listen for my next story. This is K-7 speaking. <laughs>